Hello everyone. So today I actually received a piece of art that uh that uh was mailed from a friend that I paid only thirty dollars for. Now this is a great price for what it is because it's fucking amazing. Now uh, this piece of art uh, is on a canvas that hell I've bought canvases for that big that were uh, close to thirty dollars. So this is a great deal. Plus, I mean it's a it's a good painting. It's it's it makes me feel like it's uh, reminiscent of Jackson Pollock. Um, if I was going to compare it to anything, but, uh, it, it's, it's vibrant and, uh, I really, I really feel like it brings out, uh, some kind of emotional, uh, connection when I look at it because the vibrant colors are so, uh, interwoven in such a very unique way, uh, that they look like splatters, but, uh, it's all about, it's all about the placing of every individual color for me. And, uh, Jackson Pollock did that really well. And, uh, I think my friend really did well in this. And she only charged me 30 bucks for this, which is amazing. But uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, I got received it today, and I'll go ahead and show you what it is. That is it right there. Now, a lot of people say it looks like a chicken. <laughs> but I, uh, I only get that context, like, partially. Like, for me, the color stands out more than just the black outline. Like, the color really feels like, like I said, Jackson Pollock-esque. And, um, it, uh, it brings forth, like, this, uh, th this interest in the eye. Like, you're constantly going from one color to the next, looking at the shades. And, um, it, uh, it makes you, it makes you interested in, uh, what your eyes are doing. Because your eyes are so active when you're looking at this thing. Uh, a lot of activity, a lot of color, and, uh... It makes you try to interpret it just by looking at it. And uh, that's really why I like a lot of Jackson Pollock's works too. But uh, this is done by my friend. I'm not going to say her name because I didn't ask her if I could. Uh, but uh, she does a lot of works. They're not all this style of art necessarily. Some of them have far more, you know, rigid form or outlines. But um, she does a lot of good work. And uh, she's schizophrenic like me, so uh, that helps. <laughs> I do some I do some pretty good pen and ink work, and uh, you know I do okay tattoo work on myself. Uh, and uh, really, my strong suit is pen and ink, though. And uh, I'm more into I'm more into writing and uh, spirituality research, things like that. But uh, I I really do have an artistic side, and uh, it, that really flares up uh, that side of me when I look at it. So I'm really glad that I received that. Thank you very much, my friend that sent that to me. Uh, I'm posting this on YouTube, of course. And uh, one other thing happened to me that I wanted to mention, because I don't really know where else to put it, to be honest. Um, one of my favorite authors, uh, Raven Caldera, actually commented on one of my videos. Now, he's one of my, he's a northern shamanistic uh, author, and um, there's, there's just not a lot of those. And uh, he... He posted, uh, you know, a positive comment on one of my videos, uh, the multiverse uh, video, my video on the multiverse. Type in Hunter Salazar, multiverse one, because it's the first part. Um, but uh, yeah, that's never happened. It's like it's kind of like if you're, <laughs> I'm gonna compare it to something funny. If you're a 12 year old girl and like you just like Justin Bieber like starts talking to you, like on Facebook or something or on YouTube. You just get really excited. That's kind of how I got excited, which is it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I started engaging in a conversation with him, but um, on email, uh, so it's not really public. But uh, yeah, I was really happy about that. Today's been a good day. I received a good work of art from my friend, and uh, I got a comment on one of my videos on YouTube uh, from one of my favorite authors, like literally one of my favorite, not just saying that, uh, Raven Caldera, by the way. Uh, and he does northern shamanistic work. Uh, one of his books that I have is Weird Walkers. Uh, W-Y-R-D Walkers. Uh, and he did a lot. He did a work with uh, Ken S. Um called, and I have to look back at, Talking to the Spirits. And uh, that was a really great work. Ken S. Fallon is, one of, is another great author that I just love. I only have like six or seven that are really up there for me as far as spirituality goes. But... Um, that's all I got to say for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and y'all have a great day.